In this tutorial, I would like to show how easy it is to follow dynamic calls in complex applications. I selected the tab arrow in Info, which allows me to select COBOL and exclude SQL and TAL. I change to Statement View and select the statement Call. Now I have all the call statements and 340 programs that are using them. You will want to see the parameters in a call statement that are filled with program names. I select modifier blank and I see in symbols the two that are used for this purpose. In the statement list box, Panorama shows me all calls, altogether 1826 that are modified to call the next relevant program. And this happens in 340 programs. Now I select this parameter and I see that 64 programs are using it. I select the first one and now I have the call statement and here I see the WS sub program name and you will see on the right side 13 program names that will be moved into the parameter in this call statement. Now I want to find all the move statements that are moving program names into the parameter. This is possible with the unique data flow analysis of Panorama. In this case here, backward makes sense. I click on backward and immediately I see in the window here all the move statements that are moving program names into the field WS subprogram name. I'm excluding the error handling select only call and move and here I see now the call statement in which these program names will be moved. Highlighting the result in the hypercube and opening the structure browser will show on the upper left corner a red dot. Only those statements, sections, paragraphs and statements are relevant for the dynamic call analysis. Here are all the moves. With three mouse clicks, I can hide the statements that are not relevant for this call. And here I see the call statement in which the move statements move the program name that has to be called. I scroll the graphic a little to get the total overview over my dynamic calls. Please make yourself familiar also with the other tutorials of ITP Panorama. Thank you for watching.